we're going to be discussing uh, linear perspective. A uh, very important thing to understand when it comes to art, because uh, Western art, because it dominated Western art for 450 years. It was discovered by Brudelewski uh, in about 1420, and um, it's basically just the, the, the attempt to represent three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional surface. Now, the first thing that you have to have uh, in, in linear perspective is a uh, what's known as a focal point here. We chose it to be the center of this, this room we're going to draw. And um, you want off these things here, these, these parallel rays that are going to the focal point, the floor, uh, are called orthogonals. And even artists like uh, Cimabue and Giotto understood some of the basics of uh, perspective because they knew that drawing diagonal lines uh, to the center would produce uh, an illusion of, um, of three-dimensional space. But they couldn't get the horizontal lines right. They couldn't understand how to do that. So the person that discovered that was Brunelleschi, like I said, in 1420. And he discovered that if you draw a point on the horizontal outside your picture and you draw these rays from that point to meet your orthogonals, uh, it actually will tell you uh, where you need to draw your horizontal lines to get a much better perception of um, much better perception of uh, three-dimensional space. So I'm drawing these these chords. Now this is very rough, of course, but uh, you'll you'll probably uh, get the idea in a second. Now, as you can see, while I where I drew these lines, uh, I'm, uh, these th these areas cross. I'm going to draw a a, um, a line right through where they cross. And that will give me an approximate um, place of where my horizontal line should go. I should have used a thinner uh, pencil a here. Door in if you wanted to by running um, a line down like this to the corner of the room. Um, you could uh, put in a window. We'll see how the, um, if you color in some of these tiles here, how this produces the illusion of, uh, of um, three-dimensional space. And that's only because you were able to, to figure out what the horizontal lines were because you drew the, uh, as you can see, as they recede, you get both a Oops, wrong one. No, that's right. You get both a, uh, a feeling of um, vertical and horizontal space by going back. All right, so uh, let's draw in some of our other parts of our building, give you an idea. Too far in. All right, now, so you've got your horizontal space and your vertical space. How do you put actual people in there? That's one of the issues. And the way you would want to do that is you really want to um, keep the, their faces along the horizontal. Let's say we got a guy with a little hat on here and uh, we're gonna make a stick figure here. He's like this and his feet are right here planted on the back part of the wall. So he's back on the back side of the wall. Uh, if we were going to have a person uh, closer up, we would still put their face in. Uh, he's, uh, he's been working out and he's there, but his feet are planted in the foreground. Even though his face is the same place as this guy, his feet's in the foreground. If we were going to put a stool next to him, let's say right behind him, we'd have to plant its legs even though it's uh, much shorter, it's legs much better. If I had a little teddy bear back here in the back, um, and uh, 
you know, made him like this, I'd plant his feet here. Um, but he would, uh, of course, be much shorter than my guy here with a cap. And be hanging uh, from this, from that that thing. So that's basically how linear perspective works, and that is the the attempt to put th uh, to represent three dimensional space on a two dimensional surface.